Oh, hello all of you consuming the extensive content produced by the Big Papa Breeze main channel. How are you doing? Today we're going to be continuing the series that we started before, campaigning for the return of retired mascots and characters, and taking things a step further by giving a detailed pitch as to exactly how we are going to do that. I recommend giving the previous entry a look just so you have something to use as a benchmark to compare this episode to, but that'd be entirely up to you. Anyway, here's the pitch, no bait and switch, this one is my best work. Episode 2, just for you, from an internet jerk. Pull up your pants, give me a chance, and we'll bring back the Hamburglar. We'll bring back the Hamburglar. So why the Hamburglar? Why of all the McDonald's characters do we pick him? Well, let's review the history on our burglar burglaring boy and uh, find out why. Now luckily, we don't need to go all the way back to the origins of McDonald's to know what we're dealing with here. We just need to go back to the year 1970, when McDonald's hired ad agency Need Him, Harper, and Steers. You see, they were hired to create a campaign to get McDonald's to that next level. They needed to create a sort of experience to attach to the meal. That campaign would then materialize in 1971 with the McDonald's Land campaign. Get yourself ready for a trip through McDonald's Land. A fun set of advertising involving introducing fun characters to a wacky world to accompany our favorite Ronald Dale McDonald. The idea is it would be an escape for both kids and adults alike. Joining Ronald was the professor, the scientific inventor, Mayor McCheese, the loving elected official, Officer Big Mac, the chief of police, tasked with attempting to control the comedically large quantity of evildoers like Captain Crook, Evil Grimace, and of course the man of the hour, the Lone Jogger. I have no idea why they referred to him as that at the beginning. That's the Lone Jogger. Everything went great for a long time. At least until it didn't. As in 1973, Sid and Marty Kropp brought legal suit against the McDonald's Corporation. You see, in early 1970, Needham reached out to the Crofts to test a water for a partnership only to later tell them the concept had indeed been dropped, which is an obviously inaccurate statement. What really gets into the scummy side of things is the poaching of talent and the blatant, hard-handed inspiration taken in creating the magical land. The similarities between the IPs of McDonald Land and HR Pup and Stuff were extensive, and this detracted from the marketing offers the Crofts were once offered. McDonald's defense was essentially, of course we were inspired by H.R. Puff and stuff, but our characters looked nothing like them. Yeah, they lost that fight, and with it they also lost the ability to feature some of the cast. The Professor, Captain Crook, Mayor McCheese, and Officer Big Mac all vanished. The remaining cast would then evolve over time until their appearances started to dwindle fewer and fewer, ultimately culminating around 2003 in the retirement of everybody outside Ronald McDonald. There would be one exception, though. During retirement, the Hamburglar settled down and made a family. But in 2015, he came out of retirement for a commercial, sort of hyping the sirloin third-pound burger. He quickly disappeared again as the campaign only lasted a few small ads, and you see, that's why he's special. That's why he's the one deserving for a revival. He's somebody we can truly rally behind. Let me tell you exactly how we're going to be bringing him back. So first things first, we need to keep the 2015 design. The handsome one. 
the one where an Entertainment Weekly employee took issue with it, saying, and I quote, For one thing, he's pretty, and I don't want to go to a McDonald's expecting to see someone hotter than me holding a double McSwiss burger. You see, the Hamburglar has experienced growth, and we need to keep that. Second, this is a feel-good story, okay? This isn't a campaign for children. This isn't a campaign for adults. This is a campaign for everyone. And it needs to be treated as such. Third, we need to have fun with this, okay? We're going to pour money into commercials, marketing materials, and signage. It's going to be a fun campaign, and we're going to put a lot into it. So where do we start? What is McDonald's current biggest issue? Well, if you would ask me, it's actually staffing. Everywhere you look, places are desperate to hire staff, and more importantly, retain that staff. The fast food industry has been hit particularly hard lately, and we need to address that. Now, half the battle, of course, is improving things for staff and employees to encourage applications to increase. We need to do things like addressing wages and work-life balance, room for advancement, and stuff like that. But the average person doesn't just find out about that. They need advertisements. And that's what we're going to do. Enter commercial number one. The Hamburglar, the 2015 Hamburglar, goes to McDonald's and pauses with his hand out while looking at the now hiring sign. It transitions to him sitting in an office, across from somebody, looking at his resume, blocking his face. They pull down the resume, and it's Ronald McDonald, who grins and says, Welcome aboard. The Hamburglar smiles, holds his hand out, and once again it transitions to Ronald handing him a check, saying, Good work out there today. Pats him on the back, and walks off as it zooms in on the Hamburglar looking at the check. He looks up, and it transitions to the McDonald's logo with the phrase, Everyone deserves a chance, or even a second. Boom. That's it. The Hamburglar's second chance campaign. McDonald's then needs to, behind the scenes, ramp up pushing a few things, mentioning all the improvements that it's made, as well as the fact that they hire ex-convicts, which they do, and make a comprehensive breakdown of the positive changes the company have put in place for employees abound. Start incorporating the Hamburglar into marketing materials and hiring materials, and after a while, you can feel free to introduce the next ad. It starts with the Hamburglar taking off his apron as a fellow, probably slightly younger employee, says, Hey, Hamilton! his name. The boss wants to see you. He gets a worried look on his face and wanders into the office where Ronald is sitting there at the chair, who looks up and excitingly says, I think you're ready. And he hands him a manager name tag. He says, congratulations, you've earned it. The Hamburglar looks at it, shakes Ronald's hand, and it transitions to the same, everyone deserves a chance or even a second screen. Now you can sprinkle in more ads if you want to stretch out the campaign, but at this point we've successfully turned the Hamburglar into a symbol of hope, and more importantly, a positive representation of the upward mobility of the company. He becomes somebody that we can root for. We can Continue this on as long as you want, but there's one specific ad that needs to be ran to finally nail things down, whether it's the next one or ones farther down the line. The Hamburglar, with his new manager name tag, brings food out to a table with kids and a middle-aged female at it. He starts reading back the order. He goes, Two Happy Meals, one spicy crispy chicken, and a Big Mac. Does everything here look good? Behind him, you hear a deep voice saying, Looks perfect. He turns around, and in shock, it pans up, and it's Officer Big Mac, who says, Hamilton, 
This place is in good hands. The Hamburglar gets choked up. And he hugs Officer Big Mac, who hugs him back and pats him on the back. And then finally transitions to the everyone deserves a chance or even a second screen. At this point, we've done it. Not only have we revived a beloved and iconic character, we've told a sincere feel-good tale of redemption for both the characters as a whole, the Hamburglar and so on, but also the company itself. I feel that this campaign has some serious potential, but also it can be used as a genuine thoughtful idea. We really need something like this now. Something to fill us with hope. And I see no better candidate than Hamilton B. Ergler. I'm willing to try it. Because as we found out, everyone deserves a chance. Or even a second. And we can do this with the Hamburglers Second Chance Campaign. Thank you. I appreciate you watching this pitch for the Hamburglers Second Chance Campaign. Hashtag Hamburglers Second Chance Campaign. And I hope you enjoyed the video. It's another long one, so I appreciate you hearing me out. And at the point we're at right now, I'm going to feel confident putting this guy at the top of the list. As I feel very confident in this campaign. I've got a lot of different projects in the pipeline, so just keep an eye out, and I appreciate your patience. And thanks once again for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. I'm going to leave you with this professional artist depiction of what we're looking for. Thank you, have a good day, and I'll hopefully see you soon.